Hi everyone, it's Anne Marie here. Um, today I'm going to attempt to show you how to make this. And no, it's not an um, it's not went through a embossing folder because I don't have an embossing folder, but. I do have this pretty stamp. Mm. All this back to front stuff is no good for me. So this is what I'm going to make it from, and basically all it is is toilet tissue, and it's been painted and stuff. So yeah, um, people from all things, all things creative. Is probably seen it on there when I posted the picture yesterday. So, quite a few people have asked me to do a tutorial, which I'm quite nervous about because I've never done a tutorial because I always panic about messing it up. But I uh, will give it a go. So, basically, you want your stamp. All you need for this is a stamp. I'm not sure about the cl about clear stamps because I've not actually tried anything else other than this one. Uh, but I like this one because it was nice and big and my clear stamps are pretty ugh, small and so I tried it with this one and I'm hoping to get more of these urban, st they're called urban stamps, paper mania urban stamps so I'm hoping to get some more of these but anyway I tried it with this and it, please excuse my nails they've got paint in them and uh, well so I was painting quite late last night. <laughs> so basically all you need is stamp, some water, a brush and toilet tissue. And basically mine is really really cheap tissue because I didn't want to buy really expensive tissue for crafts so I just got cheap stuff. So you need, they say it was Kelly Donovan that posted this idea um, in all things creative and basically in the, their instructions it says that you need about 10 sheets but I'm going to do less than that today because I'm just going to show you a rough, um, ex a rough guide how to do this so I'm going to do less but as I say, this is Kelly Donovan's, um, but it all started from um, Eileen McInnes's uh, making embellishments from toilet paper and moulds. So that was her idea. Then Secret Soto. Um, added her twist to it and yeah it's kind of everybody's kind of going crazy about all oh, this the last week or so so everybody's making toilet paper tissue embellishments and um, Kelly thought it was a great idea and she looked up some stuff yesterday and someone I think it was oh who was it was it stamping up might have been stamping up um, idea for doing it with a stamp. Um, you can also do it with embossing folders as well and if you've got an embossing machine. But unfortunately I don't and when you use, this is what happens when you use cheap brushes. The hairs fall out and end up everywhere. But anyway, so basically you get your toilet tissue after you wet your stamp just should, you should always wait your stamp because it it sticks better. But get your tissue and place it over the stamp and just gently pat it on, push it on like so. Just push it on there. And I know I've got a big crease here, but it doesn't matter because this is just an example. Um, wet your brush again and just damp it over. Uh, I 
just damp, do not like stroke it, don't do it like that, just pat it with your brush like that. Because if you stroke it, there's a chance that you can uh, rip it off, rip your tissue. So if your brush is too wet and if you st like swipe your brush across it, it could rip it. So just damp, damp. I see I made that a bit too wet there, but it'll be fine. And I know it looks like I'm swiping my brush, but I'm actually just patting it. But it looks like I'm swiping it on camera, but I'm not. I'm just I'm just patting it down with my brush. Just getting in all the wee bits. I'm only going to do a few sheets of this because... I don't want to keep these too long. Um, even if you just push it down every so often as well, just it's quite early in the morning, so I'm still pretty tired today. Well, it's not that early; it's like nine o'clock, but it's early for me. <laughs> I've been up since like half seven or something like that. I don't know what's up with my sleep partner's just gone to plot. <sighs> so just continue to add your sheets of tissue. This one's a bit torn, but it don't matter. Ooh. And just push it down. Push it, push it down, push it down. Oh. Right, so that's it pushed. <laughs> Now I will go and wet it a bit. What I do suggest is you wet your edges as well because not too much though because it will help the tissue like stick together a bit more. But even when it's done, you're going to be putting a layer of, once it's completely dry, I mean, um, you're going to paint it with a layer of white seal glue or Mod Podge anyway, so, which helps it keep together, so. I don't know how well this is going to turn out, but hopefully it turns out well. Since it's a tutorial, I don't want it to be a mess when I'm trying to teach you how to do it, and then it ends up a mess. That'll be great when I do a tutorial and have a huge fail. But that is partly the reason why I don't do tutorials because I'm scared in case I fail, and it looks stupid me trying to teach you how to do something then I fail. So. Yeah. Now I'm not sure how well this one will turn out because I have got a big crease in my paper. I don't know if you still see it on camera, but uh, it's just there. There's a big crease, so I don't know how well this is actually going to turn out. Hopefully, okay. But um, basically, as well, try and keep your 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 tissue paper all in the same direction if you like don't put one one way and then the other the other way or whatever because 
I just find it works better if you keep it all in one the same direction. Let's push down, push down, push down. Get put in the way. So hopefully this is gonna be my last sheet. <laughs> Cause as I say I don't want to keep these too long so I just want to give you an example of how it can be done. So I don't really want to do the full ten sheets, but you can. I'm just going to give you a quick example of how it's done. Okay, let's let's try the reveal and see if I want to have a sneak peek to see if it's okay to reveal. Yeah, that's fine. So there you go, that was only a few sheets, but as I say, the, I would continue just to add it to it because it's too thin. Uh, my light sucks. <laughs> Go. There you go. So after that, once it was completely dry, but as I say, I would want to add more layers to mine. Um, but once it's completely dry, you just leave it to dry. You can try and uh, dry it yourself with a heat gun or a hair dryer, but I found that when I've done that, it's kind of um not what it just seems to heat up the water. Um, but you can try it. Um, I find it best if you just leave it um, on a window ledge or something and leave the window open a bit and um, leave it for a while and it'll dry eventually. And then basically just put your, just paint, dab it over with Mod Podge or white scale glue on the front and back. You may want to do two layers of it. it it's really up to yourself. Um, and then just paint it. And then if you like, you can put a, a layer of Mod Podge at top. Top of that again. It's up to you. It's really up to you which way you want to do it. But that was just an example. I just wanted to show you how you can do it. So, just to show you is don't need an embossing folder to do pretty things. And um, as you say, thanks again, Kelly, for your idea. Um, we're actually waiting on Kelly giving his ideas on what to do with these once they're complete. <laughs> um, because I've done it, but I, just, I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. So, Kelly's thinking up ideas to to use them for. Um, so that that's it for today. I'll, I'll make another full one. This one is just thin and flimsy. But I will make another full one and um, once it's dry I'll make another video on how I paint mine and stuff like that. So there you go. Anyway, Hope you enjoyed it. Happy crafting and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, if you like it and uh, want, if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up um, so that I, I know that you like it and it wasn't up your mess up. Um, and it'll encourage, it'll help encourage me to make more tutorial videos. Um, cause as I say, I'm I'm still new to YouTube and I'm still quite shy, as you can tell. I've not been on camera, but I will show my face someday. <laughs> but anyway, so if you like it, comment, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up, and.
I would, because I would love to hear some feedback from you all on what you think of my videos. Um, and anyway, so that's <laughs> that's that. I just forgot to say that at the end of my video. But happy crafting, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.